Hi Aquarius, I hope you're doing well and happy holidays and this is going to be your general reading for January 2018. So guys, let's look into your recent past real quick and, and then uh, see what you can expect in January. Okay, so Aquarius recent past. King of Pentacles, there could be an earth sign. Oh my god, three of swords, the empress in reverse. Okay. So, there is a person that you're dealing with, you know, could be an earth sign, could be somebody that is either financially stable or somebody reliable, could be just money, you know, it does not have to be person, it could simply be money. There was some kind of hurtful words being exchanged or some, definitely a disappointment regarding either financial situation or this person, you know, it could be an earth sign, specifically Taurus, actually, since I've got the Empress here, and... You know, the Empress in Reverse is either lack of self-confidence, not willing to work on your self-confidence, not willing to, you know, not feeling good enough, not feeling worth anyone or anything, really, which is pretty sad. However, it's also you not wanting to change something in your life to get a new beginning, or the circumstances not letting you change something, you know, there is no rebirth of anything with the Empress in Reverse. And Three of Swords, you know, definitely some kind of hurtful situation in the past regarding this person. Yay, in the Wheel of Fortune, I guess something did start changing, okay? Something fortunate came into your life that give, gave you a push forward, okay? Which is really good. However, it could also indicate that it was something that you kind of had to experience. It was predestined for you with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so what's next? What's happening in January for... Aquarius, January 2018, Knight of Wands in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse, Ace of Wands. So, okay, <laughs> you guys probably know who this is and somebody from your past. Most likely this person has been in and out of your life for a while. Okay, and this person could be a fire sign, okay, or could be just somebody that's um, somebody that's not serious enough for a relationship, maybe somebody that's literally in and out, somebody impulsive, okay, uh, definitely not a very serious person, Knight of Wands in reverse is not a very serious person, and uh, they're definitely from your past and they're coming back with, the pas with passion, okay, it could be if it's not love, could be a person coming back with some kind of an offer, okay, something new, something exciting, and it will definitely be your, you know, it will definitely be your decision whether to accept it or not, but this person is offering you a new beginning in the beginning of January, interesting, right? Okay, what's next, Aquarius? Sorry. Ten of Pentacles, okay, there could be, uh <sighs> ew, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, and Ten of Pentacles, guys, so this is regarding, uh, regarding your home, this is regarding financial situation, again, you know, there could be something regarding money here, there could be security at home, you know, financial stability, or just stability within family members, you know, the, within the family, yeah, but there is some kind of conflict that you might have to deal with with Five of Swords here. This is somebody playing dirty. Somebody trying to trick you maybe, you know, with Seven of Swords here. Seven of Swords is somebody being deceitful. However, it's also somebody that's doing something behind your back. It could be you, you know, it could be your own energy. You doing something behind somebody's back. You playing dirty, either in regards to money, okay, or just a family situation. So watch out for conflicts within your home. With your, within your close relationships, okay, somebody might try to trick you, maybe, or um, they're just going to be doing whatever is beneficial for them and not really caring what you think, okay. Could also be jealousy from your family members, from your friends, from a partner, okay. What's next? Of course, Four of Cups, Ace of Swords... Well, okay, if you've been trying to realize something for a long, long time, something could have been 
like a burden, you know, on your shoulders for a while. You weren't really able to either move away from that situation or you didn't even know exactly was that a good situation in your life or a bad one. Should it, should you have kept it in your life or this person in your life or not? Well, in the month of January, you're definitely getting your clarity on the situation with Ace of Swords here. This is a new beginning on a mental level. You're realizing something, okay? Four of Cups here is being empathetic uh, towards offers. Again, this could be this same person from your past coming back with an offer. And you could hesitate to take it. However, it could also be you rejecting an offer because I have Eight of Cups here, guys. I feel like you're going to realize a lot in the month of January and choose to move on. Could it be moving on from a person? Yes, it could also be moving on from a job. It could be moving on from a certain idea that you used to have. Okay, it could be... It's definitely a, it's a serious decision, okay? It's something that you weren't forced into making that decision. This is something that you want and you're going to do it, okay? You choose to move away from an old pa pattern, a person, a situation in your life, okay? And definitely either after you find out some truth or after you realize something, okay? Something important. Okay, what's next? The chariot could be physical travel. Two of cups, ten of swords. Six of wands on the bottom of the deck. That talks about having some kind of victory, you know? Uh, possibly recognition, maybe getting some attention, being successful at something, being proud of something, maybe proud of that decision that you're going to make, okay? Um... The chariot could be physical travel in the month of January. You know, I'm sure that a lot of people are going to be traveling in the month of January. However, again, it's victory. It's moving forward, you know, being self-confident that everything is going to be fine. For some of you, it will be travel to see a partner, you know, with two of cups here. Some kind of partner, you know, it could be regarding your work. It could be a love relationship. You could be traveling, taking a trip with a partner somewhere else. Okay, however, it's also just, uh, I feel like this is good, you know, what, even if you're not in a relationship, if you are just working, if you even think that you have somewhat of a boring life, you know, I feel like this is a good card to get. This is balance, okay, in your relationships with your brothers and sisters, you know, with your mom and dad. This is balance and Ten of Swords, thank God it's not in reverse. You realize that the worst is behind you, okay? And you're only going to move forward from them. Like I said, you know, like I always say, Ten of Swords, there is no way but up once you get that Ten of Swords. So that's good, guys. Now I'm going to pull outcome cards for Aquarius for January 2018. Aquarius, January 2018. What's the outcome? Beautiful. Guys... Two of Wands, you know, this is you making plans for the future, basically. You're not feeling stuck. You know you have to make plans. Yeah, it might be regarding a commitment or like a friendship or something. You know, you're very, very stubborn. Like, this is what you want and you're going to do it. Okay, this is making plans, guys. This is starting something new that's exciting, okay? This could be a new project at work. This could be a new friendship, a new relationship. Slow and steady, something very practical could be a big purchase. Congratulations, you know, but it's definitely uh, something good. A new start coming in. The lovers, I feel like it's going to be great um, in your love department this month, okay? Or whatever choices you might be making in the month of January will be definitely the right ones. You will know, you will, like, you will be able to tell, you know, if this is the right choice to make or not. I think this is very, very good. And again, if you have a love relationship, I feel like this month is very good for getting along with each other, you know? And maybe dumping somebody from the past that might be coming in. I don't know. There's definitely something you're leaving behind. But then you've got karma in reverse. This is uh, judgment in reverse in the traditional deck. I feel like it just, it's a warning. You know, be careful not to be too ju judgmental, not to jump into conclusions. You know, just be careful and take it slow and steady, just like the Ace of Pentacles. You know, uh, there might be offers coming in. There might be something that might kind of 
catch you off guard, you know, but you gotta move forward. Because with Tail Wands here, this is your plan, and you're supposed to be working towards it without any distractions. Alright guys, well Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading, and thank you so much, and I will see you guys in my love spread for January 2018. Thank you, bye-bye.